I'm Dr. Stephen Cohen and this is a video of a patient having an Ahmed valve placed for angle closure glaucoma. This patient has had 10 previous eye surgeries including a scleral buckle for a retinal detachment. Because of all the previous surgeries, the conjunctival dissection, which is what you're seeing here, is both difficult and important. It's important to preserve as much conjunctiva as possible to cover the Ahmed valve at the end of the surgery. This patient's previously had a corneal transplant, and that's why you see the stitches in the cornea, which are the little black lines at the top of the uh, picture. Here you're seeing blunt dissection along the side of the globe and you're seeing a silk tie being placed under the muscle and then you'll see the little silicone band which goes around the eye which is the scleral buckle and that is in the way of where the Ahmed valve will be placed so a little piece of the scleral buckle is removed just enough to make room for the Ahmed valve. This particular patient had had a scleral buckle placed about a year or two previous to this surgery and therefore the dissection down to the scleral buckle was a little bit complicated because the buckle had been encapsulated. One of the reasons we're reluctant to remove scleral buckles is because there is a slight risk of retinal detachment on removal of a scleral buckle. In this particular case, the Ahmed valve plate will be placed exactly where the small piece of scleral buckle was, and therefore there should be support on that part of the globe. It is possible to place a valve over a scleral buckle, but that leaves the, that part of the eye particularly bulky. Here you can see the Ahmed valve. It was just inserted next to the globe. The little tube is sticking off the top of the Ahmed valve plate. Those two black sutures are used to secure the Ahmed valve to the globe, and then the valve tucks back uh, right along the side of the sclera. Once the plate of the Ahmed valve is secured to the eye, the valve is primed. The Ahmed valves have a flow control within them, and it's important to flush some saline through the valve to open that little flow control before inserting the tube into the globe. Next you'll see the valve tube is trimmed and then finally a 22 gauge needle is used to make a hole in the globe and the tube will be placed in the globe through that hole. This particular patient has also had a previous vitrectomy. The vitreous is clear so I can safely put the Ahmed valve posteriorly and not worry about the tube being clogged by vitreous. It's also a little safer for the corneal transplant to place the valve posteriorly. That way the tube doesn't rub against the cornea and cause problems with later corneal decompensation. Towards the end of the surgery, a pericardial graft is placed over the tube. That's to keep the tube from exposing. It's sutured in all four quadrants with a vicral suture, which is reabsorbable. All the sutures left in the eye at the end of this surgery reabsorb within usually a month or two, and they're all covered so the patient's not uncomfortable. This surgery is done with local anesthesia and the patient is sedated for much of the surgery. She had minimal discomfort. You're seeing a little bit of anesthetic being placed around the eye at the conclusion of the surgery right there. And then the conjunctiva is closed with the suture which will reabsorb within a week or two. I hope you found this video informational and please feel free to look at other videos and other informational pages at our website which will be listed at the end of the video. This is Dr. Stephen Cohen, and again, this is a video of an Ahmed valve placed on an eye that had previously had a scleral buckle for a retinal detachment repair.